Hi, Jason here from TGN. Alright, so today we are doing the DSM update from 6.2 to the DSM 7.0. Okay, do note that DSM 7.0 currently right now is still on public beta testing. It's only for evaluation only. Okay, do take note of the risk. Okay, so let's move on to the browser portion and let's take a look where to get the DSM 7.0. Okay, so you can follow the cursor here where you can click on the main page of Synology. Alright. Go to DSM overview. Okay, from the DSM overview, the micro lending site, all you have to do is just scroll down from the micro lending site to the DS this station manager 7.0. Click to learn more. Okay, once you click to learn more, you have to learn more about it. And over here, you will see here where it allows you to join the beta program. Okay, so this is open public beta. Do remember, like I mentioned earlier, uh, that is for evaluation only. Okay, do not use this for your production NAS or NAS that you're using for your live data. Okay, now where to download the, the packets, all right? All you have to do is just go to the this Station Manager 7 Beta Download Center. Okay, that's where you will obtain your package. Okay, now, of course, you can also check and double check if your models are allowed to be used, okay, through the series of page here. Or else, what you can do is when you click on the Download Center, it will similarly ask you to select the model that you are using with okay so you can use it from ds114 onwards okay now in my case i am using it with the ds1621 access plus okay all you have to do is just click on it once you submit okay the available packages for the 1621 access plus will come out together with the this station manager okay so you can download the whole package and put it somewhere in your computer or your desktop to use it and at the same time if you have any packages that you want to explore with dsm 7.0 all right all the packages that are applicable for 7.0 are also similarly inside okay so in my case i have already pre-downloaded the package and i'll switch over to my nas right now okay so this is my nas all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to log in okay so i'm going to type in my username okay and enter okay and i'm going in and once i'm in all you have to do is just go to the control panel okay at the control panel go to update and restore okay click on update and restore you have to go through by the manual dsn update okay and browse okay you have to look for where you save the particular file all right in my case i've saved it in desktop and this is the package file and you just open it click OK on it now do note that you may need a time of between 10 to 20 minutes in order for the whole process to be done because it's going to make your NAS reboot okay so it's going to restart your NAS and whenever it restarts your NAS it's going to take 10 minutes to come back into play alright so once that's done what's going to happen is okay so in my case, uh, in my NAS, I have a virtual machine running, okay? So I'm just going to accept it that it's going to happen. And I'm going to, okay, in my case, it's going to take 20 to 40 minutes to finish, all right? And at the time, do note that while it is being updated, do not switch off your NAS to make sure that you have power to your NAS, okay? Make sure the NAS has power or else you're going to have issues, okay? Like I mentioned earlier, once the update is complete, Okay, the system will restart all the services and packages. Okay, so right now I'm going to, going to click yes. And right now what's going to happen is it's going to take 20 minutes at least for the whole process to go through. Okay, while waiting for it to process, we're just going to let it run for a while. Okay, it's going to take some preparation time and it's going to run. Okay, and I'm going to go back. Okay. Now, as usual, do note that when you are playing around with DSM 7.0, it's an evaluation. Okay. What I can do is, as you have downloaded your DSM 7.0, okay, be sure to download all the necessary packages that you want to evaluate at the same time and to make sure that you know where you store it. Because what's going to happen is after the NAS has restarted, okay, whatever packages that you have before, okay, you can't really use it anymore. You may have to do the update and all the packages have to be updated manually 
Okay, so individually you have to update it. In my case, I have the VM running on the 1621 XS Plus. I have to manually update the VM package through the manual selection on the package center in order for it to work. Okay, once that's working, after you have installed it, you're going to have to restart the VM and let it run. Okay, and this is running, it's going to take some time. Similarly, make sure you have ample time to do all these functionalities. Okay. Now, as well, we are running it. I'm just going to go through with some of the videos that I've done. Okay. You may have seen some of the videos that I've done where with regards to the latest 2021 models. Okay. Do note that for 2021 models, there's going to be a few coming out. Okay. So far, last two weeks, the newest one was the RS1221 Plus. Okay. That is running right now and it has been selling for the past two weeks. So there are some units floating around. Okay. Now, be sure that the hard disk, okay, so we have done a video on the hard disk specifically for 2021 models for rack storage, rack, rack station, okay. We know that there are some news with regards to rack station for 2021 models. There are some limitations, okay. So I'm going to take this time to go through with you on that. Now for 2021 models for RS3621 XS, RP XS and 3621 XS Plus, and also 4021 SS Plus, it's going to be limited for anything above 8 TB, you'll be restricted to Synology hard drive. Anything that's below 8 TB so far, okay, you've got to look at the compatibility list and see what's available. And what we have seen so far is we have uh, Toshiba 6 TB and some, um, and one more which is a Seagate 4 TB hard drive which is approved for use that is below 8 TBs, okay. So anything above 8 TB, you are recommended to use uh, Synology hard drive, okay. Now let's see where we are, okay. Very quickly, let me transit over and show you guys. Okay, so while we have been talking for the past couple of minutes, okay, uh, for the past five minutes, uh, he has only moved 10%. It's normal, okay, do not worry, it's expected, okay. Now jumping back, all right. So, if you have any questions with regards to any of our models for 2021, okay, uh, there'll be another news announcement to be made soon with regards to the next models that are coming out for 2021, which I've mentioned earlier. There will be additional information about it, okay. Now, the NAS is going to be restarted, so there's going to be a beep sound. It's fine, okay, it's normal, all right, do not be afraid or shocked about it. For those who are used to running evaluation um, software, you will know that it's pretty common, okay? Let me jump it back and show you guys, all right? So we can see here right now, uh, the NAS is rebooting, so everything has gone white, all right? At the same time, what you can do is, okay, it's getting ready for you and informing you that what's going to happen. It's going to be updating all the various packages. It's going, to, it's going to take some time, all right? As usual, as mentioned earlier, please do not shut down your NAS, okay? It's going to do all the updating for you. So here you can see here that it's doing all this for you, okay? It has already done three packages and right now we are into the fourth package which is my Hyper Backup because this 1621 is also one of my machines where I do my backup, alright? We know that backing up, you've got to make sure that you have the backup plan of 321 which is minimally three versions, okay? Two different media and one has to be off-site. Okay, so make sure that one of the backups are off-site. Alright, so make sure that you have your own backup plan as per normal. Now you can see on the screen I'm doing my Synology Mail Plus server update. Okay, I am also using the Mail Plus server as my basic primary email. Alright, so my company email we are using the Mail Plus server running. Alright, so you can see here that I'm utilizing my NAS uh, fully besides running VM, besides running backups, my data. Alright. I have my email inside. Right, so it's done. Okay, so all I have to do right now is I need to input in my username. Okay. And once that's done, we can just go next. Okay. And we're going to click in the password. Okay, you can see the setup and the user entrance is different right now. Okay, for 7.0. And click next. Okay. And we'll be logging in to see... You can notice very, very quickly off the top, right, the loading is much faster than 6.2. Okay, for those who has it, all right. And of course, it will show you what's new and stuff like that. And if you want, you can just click and start and you'll go through with you, okay. 
you can also sign in to your Synology account to start using it. For us, we're just going to skip it for now. Okay, we can definitely do it later. For this, um, just uh, no thanks. We can do it later also. At the same time, you can also do give yourself a quick tour as to what are the differences and what are the new stuff inside. Okay. Other than that, if you have any help, all you have to do is just click on the magnifying glass and you can start to search for anything that you need help with. Okay. Or else, basically, let me show you what I have. Okay. So this is the control panel, still pretty standard. All right. And you can see here right now, I have updated, okay, in less than 20 minutes, okay, my DS1621 Access Plus from 6.2, all right, to DSM 7.0. Okay, should you have any questions with regards to today's video, okay, please do let us know, alright, if this video has been helpful and informative, please do click a like or subscribe to our channel, we are definitely here to assist you and answer your questions, and if, or else you can also find us on our social media where we are available on Facebook, Instagram, okay, under the name TGN Tech, alright, thank you very much.